So looking at 2035, 10 years from now, as a potential job disruption tipping point. So you start seeing entire roles just vanishing. So not just the tasks anymore, not just, oh, you know, we can do all these tasks and you still need people. So you've got entire roles just being automated and a kind of convergence of blue and white collar workers. So things like warehouse work, logistics, factory roles, all autonomous or mostly autonomous. And you've got your sort of middle skilled jobs mm. are completely hollowed out. So creating a, a sort of social pressure for policies that, that a lot of people think are inevitable. So the universal basic income or things like AI dividends. So kind of in that, in that time, seeing job shifts of a decline in, in your sort of customer service agents, your truck drivers, your radiologists, your analysts, and you know, a rise in sort of automated supervisors or, you know, robotic maintenance, all things that, that are, I guess, a lot of um, more human driven because also if you look at, well, what are the characteristics that are potentially going to make a job safe? So you think things like, you know, creativity, you know, your sort of judgment, your adaptability, but then you come back, you come down to empathy. You think empathy is something that you want to express even with a customer service agent. If you've got someone really good, they can empathize with, you know, with how you're feeling. Or if you're, you have a, a medical consultant, you know, and you're suffering with, with an illness, you've got that sort of empathy. But that's probably short-term safeguards, you know, if you've got those qualities. But what does it mean when you start looking 10 years out and you've got robots that are pretty good at actually expressing what seems like empathy and you feel like they're heard and they're always available. And then you start looking at 15 years from now, so 2040. So you look at potentially things like governments and companies are being forced to rethink their economies. You may see things like some nations pioneering four day work weeks or job sharing or even things like citizen work credits. and. Yeah. That's going to be felt on the, the most advanced countries. And then looking at things like most services are AI enabled. So you've got your personalized education, your virtual doctors, your AI legal aid. And then really at that stage, your creativity and how you handle relationships or interpersonal skills probably becomes core to what it means to have a job. If you look at work in the 50s, 60s, more of the sort of times when you were working to output something. You know, if that was your job, you worked, let's say, on a manufacturing plant and you built cars and you were there and you're working your eight hour shift and you, you were measured by how much you output. And then slowly it shifted more and more to an yeah. immeasurable one, you know, which are more difficult to measure in terms of, you know, how much you you're processing mentally, you know, things like creative jobs or even management. Yeah. You start thinking about those and, you know, it's not as quantifiable yeah. as, well, you built, mm. you know, 50 cars this month. It's like, no, no, you helped create this idea or, or push this business strategy. And I think that's probably what's, you know, it's becoming more and more, well, what it means to have a job then in 50 years is how good are you at being creative or at dealing with, with people, making things things work and, and connecting you know, people together. I'm curious, in video games, cheat codes let you skip months of grinding to unlock special abilities instantly. Have you ever wished for something similar for your software challenges? What if there's a way to instantly access 20 plus years of specialized expertise instead of developing it all internally? What if you could solve in weeks what might otherwise take months or years? Would you agree that most organizations face a steep learning curve when implementing new software solutions? At my company, Impact, we serve as that cheat code for companies looking to transform complex software into intuitive experiences that users love and that drive real business results. Would it be valuable to explore and how might this work for your specific situation? Visit impact.io for a free strategy session focused on your unique challenges.